Hey, you guys, thought I'd just show you your new home for a year or so. Um, so this is, well, you'll see when you get here, but this is actually the walkway that leads to your place. Um, and if you follow this walkway past the gate and the lilac bush over to the side, you'll see this is the downstairs patio which has a swing and a yard. Um, we don't normally let Mishka go in this yard. So for the most part, should be pretty free from doggy stuff, which is gonna be great for the kids. Um, and over here, this will soon be a fountain that doesn't leak, because it leaks right now. Um, and this little shaded area here is has a little bistro set that you can enjoy sitting at there is a smoker which we'll share should you choose to smoke some some meat you're more than welcome and then this is your downstairs door which leads to the entryway and um this is an old piano, electric piano stand, which we do still have a piano for if you want to use it. Um, that's a coat rack that'll get hung up eventually. And then we thought, although the light in here is terrible, we thought maybe this could be a good little out of the way office space. Um, it could be that um, this is just not, that's not private enough. And we could probably figure something out to put the desk in here so that there's a sound barrier. That's just our storage spot. So then, yeah, we didn't finish. Okay. <laughs> then um, these are the stairs that lead up to our place. And this is where the living area begins. Uh, this window and actually all the windows in the house are going to be replaced early summer. Um, but we'll probably have them do this first. Uh, it just depends on if you're here or not. So then we've got a sitting area. Um, that is being is a coffee table. I mean, it's actually an upside down laundry basket, but we I have a little... Um, tray to put on top of it for drinks and stuff. There's our couch. Um, hey, you don't have to worry about bringing your card table because um, I kind of forgot that we had this in the garage and so it will sit six chairs. Um, right now it's we only have four at it, but we have another one that we just need to make some small repairs on. So that's the dining area. And then here we have some bookshelves of some uh, excellent biblical literature and some empty space for you to put things if you need to. Then we cruise here on into the kitchen and we've got a clock, ooh la la, and a refrigerator and on top of the refrigerator are a griddle and electric skillet, some food that was donated for you guys to kind of help you get started. And as we go around the shelf, you'll see this is where the sink is going to go. And I have a guy coming tomorrow to look at installing the faucet. Um, it should be a really easy connection. And then this shelf we're going to put at, you know, the same height so that you can put dishes on that to dry. A um, little extra storage space up top. And then down here, there's some more food. And uh, yeah, we never really finished that part of the floor. <laughs> but hey, you got a great big cardinal waiting for you to step on. So we got some flour and pasta. And then we have a few cookware um, dishes and we have some regular dishes. Um, there is some silverware coming. Um, then, uh, dude, up there, you can see the skillet stuff. And then we have ice cube trays in there for you. 
Um, this is just a regular size refrigerator for you to store some yummy goodies in. And let's see, over here. Okay, we've got an air popper, um, a countertop oven, which is kind of questionable, uh, a microwave, and a coffee maker, um, storage containers, along with a roll of paper towels. And then the bathroom, right off the kitchen. All cleaned, I just cleaned the bathtub myself. And we have some storage drawers in the bathroom. And then we have, underneath the sink, towels. Ta-da. <clears throat> okay, and then going out here, here is your, this is what we think will work best, but you guys can switch it. So we put your bed out here with this curtain. Um, and then we put the kids in here. Um, <laughs> We have a rocking chair and a little table. And this, I think, is Titus's bed because it's tiny. It's actually a cot and we have half of it folded up against the wall. Um, then there's a TV and the this is where the girls will sleep. It's a day bed. Um, and then we have shelves and a few children's books, which I saved for my kids. A few storage containers. Um, I actually found a pack and play bed set um, with the Eric Carl Hungry Caterpillar on it. And then this is the curtain rod, or no, clothing rod that um, you can hang stuff on. Um, this thing right here is optional. You can drop it down if you want to, or just leave it up at that height. And then of course, a storage chest. And um, that's what we've got for storage. Oh, this slides out as well. And then Randy and I will have to show you how the, how the day bed works. But there's actually two full-size beds in there. Um, a mirror for checking yourself out. Um, oh, and we put a mirror in here. Or not a mirror. Sorry. We put a lamp in here because... It is like totally dark without it. Um, as you can see, I'm gonna switch this off and nothing except that little nightlight over there. <laughs> Pitch black, so they're gonna need that. Um, let's see, so going out. Then off of the bath, or next to the bathroom, is the laundry room. And in the laundry room, I've got two storage hampers for you, a dust mop. This is a heater if you need it at night. There's another one available. And then um, this was my pottery work table, and I covered it with a, a drop cloth that's clean, so you don't have to worry about getting dust on your clothes. Another set of shelves, extension cord, extra dishes that we stuck up here to save room and that you may or may not need. And then we have all this storage space for whatever, and then my pottery stuff is over there, and then there's the kiln and the washer and dryer. Ta-da! Um, trying to think if there's anything else you guys need to know. I'm curious to see if you need a ride from the airport, but I have a feeling that grandparents will definitely want to be there. Um, so that's it. If you think of anything, let me know. Um, I know that we're not gonna have every single thing you need to function in here. So the good, like I said in my email, the Goodwill isn't very far. We can probably find um, some things that you can use if we don't have it, but that is it. Um, questions? Any questions? Bueller? Bueller? Um, but anyway, that is it. I am so excited about you guys coming. Cannot wait to get here. Bye.